World War II vets uh, like Roscoe were honored today with flights on a plane they know well. It's one of the nation's few still airworthy B-17s, and it's in Oshkosh this week. Fox 11's Lindsay Vermis joined the flight today and brings us a look from above. It was another mission. Another mission. Aboard an old friend for Red A Strike. No parachutes or nothing. Nothing. We won't need them today. More than 50 oh. years have passed since A Strike served his country on a B 17. Now stepping into aluminum overcast, he says the sights, sounds, and silver glint are taking him back. All those brakes squealing in the mornings and dark out sometimes. Sometimes we couldn't see the wingtips or the fog was so bad, but then we'd go up and we'd bust through the sunlight, uh, into the sunlight, and it was fantastically bright. The Oshkosh man was a tail gunner with the 95th Bomb Group during World War II. I, I called the pilot first time on our first mission, and I said, hey, they're flashing lights at us. And he said, never not lights, they're shooting at you. He is one of many veterans and their families who've been able to relive that time in this restored B-17. A lot of people believe that uh, this is the airplane that saved the free world. The B-17 is considered an icon of World War II, but few remain, even fewer fly. EAA's aluminum overcast is among the airworthy. It travels coast to coast, offering rides and tours, allowing people like a strike to share the flying fortress with his wife. We're going together, you and I. The plane will be at AirVenture through the rest of the week, flying seven to ten flights a day. Often the vets will come to tears and they'll say, this is for my buddies that didn't come home. And it really gets to you. A-Strike says returning to the loud, cramped quarters was amazing. An enjoyable ride and nobody shooting at us. Simple sentiments for a ride of deep emotion. In Greenville, Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. Best part of it, nobody's shooting at us. Aluminum Overcast will be available for ground tours throughout the week. Those ground tours are free for veterans and active duty military. The rides, if you want to go on one of those, about $400.